Hello and welcome back. So following up from the last video, in this video, we're going to talk about this bottom custom bar. So the bottom custom toolbar includes a few brushes. And then you have obviously your gizmo, your Dynamesh, Sculptures Pro, Ziri Mesher, and subdivisions and live booleans. But if you swipe from right to left, you can see I have a ton of custom toolbars. These are some of the custom toolbars I've made, but if we slide all the way until the end, you can see there's a little plus icon. If you click this, you're accessing the customize menu. Alternatively, to access this menu, you can also tap this little button on the top right and it will pop up. So in this menu, you can slide over here the custom toolbar that you wish to customize. And as you're customizing it, if you click here on this top left button, you can access the brushes, the alphas, textures, and materials. And then let's say I want an alpha, so I can go to alpha. And now I can come over here and select an alpha and just click and long press this. And now I'm moving it around and just drag it down to the bottom. I can alternatively also click and drag. And then with my other finger, tap whatever else I want to add to that selection and then just add a multitude of assets all at once. This works also for brushes and also for alphas, textures, material. If you're using the full version of ZBrush Rypad, you can also access any of your custom brushes and just make your own custom toolbar with just those user brushes. In the same menu, you can also access the quick menu in order to customize that. But we're going to take a look at that in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.